German rock musician Udo Lindenberg and hip-hop soul singer Jan Delay are giving a joint performance. It's the high point of the Rockliner Tour, a concert tour on a cruise ship. Udo Lindenberg arrived at Hamburg Harbor four days ago, waiting for him at the quayside, a floating stage. The ship, Tui Mein Schiff, is to take him to England and back. Fifty of his musician friends have joined him for the trip. Top names like Nina Hagen and Jan Delay. It's a dream come true. I've thought of doing this for a long time. But it took a while until it was all sorted out. I'm looking forward to meeting all these experts. And to this big concert with my panic band and with Nina and Jan. After all the preparations, it's time to cast off. 30 tons of show equipment have been taken on board to make the show possible. The ship is also carrying 2,000 Lindenberg fans, including some hardcore fans who have taken the musician's lifestyle to heart. Some have adopted his style of talking. And others fancy themselves as singers. A sea voyage with Udo Lindenberg isn't just a special event for the fans. The singer Nina Hagen says the Rockliner tour is really something out of the ordinary. Udo. Udo always brings you somewhere different to check out new places. He's always stayed young, stayed beautiful. Wow. Wow. The rock liner left Hamburg Harbor on schedule on its outward journey to Dover. An unexpected treat for the passengers, this impromptu gig on deck. Tickets for the Rockliner Tour sold out in three days. Apart from the numerous performances and concerts, the tour takes passengers to places in London where music history was written. The trip cost around 600 euros in all, a very reasonable price. That was another central concept of the Rockliner idea. Lindenberg took his time deciding which ship to book. His criteria for deciding were exact. This is a big ship with a fantastic theater and a lot of lounges and corners and bars and stages and so on. We can really work magic here. It has some quiet corners too where people can chill a bit, get to know each other and so on. Then we sail off to Dover. Buses take us to London, to Abbey Road, the Beatles, the Beatles studio. We've got a beat club and beat club classics. There's a full program. Lindenberg really hit a nerve with his fans. We've been to a lot of concerts, but the Rockliner is something special. It's a real experience, which won't come around again too quickly. We're on a ship, we watch Udo's band a few times, the fans are with other fans, 2,000 people, it's fantastic, great service, great atmosphere. And above all, great music. And for all the fans who missed the boat this time, Lindenberg is due to sail off again on a Rockliner cruise in September when he'll be heading for Copenhagen. <laughs> <laughs>